I'm going to guess that you know these sounds. These are examples of sonic branding, also known as a sound logo, sonic logo, jingle, or sting. And I think these five are some of the very best. And stick around to the end of this video to hear one more bonus sound logo that I absolutely love. Even with major brands today, Sonic logos are often overlooked entirely and not being utilized at all. But I think it's hugely important. And if you could name one of these brands after I play this again, I've proved my point. So how many did you get? Number one was the telecommunication company founded in 1999, T-Mobile. One interesting thing about this one is if you look at their visual logo, it almost looks like it could be the musical notes of their jingle, but in reverse. That's an observation that's been made before. I don't know if it's true or not, but it certainly could be from the looks of it. Sound number two is the Mac startup. This sound was composed by Jim Reeks, former sound designer for Apple. Now he created several other sound effects for Mac, which ultimately led to a lawsuit. See, the Beatles had just created a record label company, Apple. Steve Jobs got permission to use Apple for his company branding, and the Beatles were concerned that he would be infringing on their brand Apple and said, you better not be using any music. Steve Jobs reassured the Beatles and their lawyers that they were not gonna dabble in music, but then of course music, sound effects, sound bites did come up within the company, and thus the Beatles lawyers did take them to court. The lawsuit forced Apple to rename a number of files to eliminate all references to music. One of the beeps he created needed a new name. I actually said, I'm gonna call it, let it beep. Of course you can't do anything like that, but I thought, yeah, it was so sue me. And then I thought, that's actually the right name. I'll just have to spell it funny. So I spelt it S-O-S-U-M-I. And then I said, it's a Japanese word. It doesn't mean anything musical. And that's how that Sosumi beep came around. It was really me making fun of lawyers. So getting back to the famous Mac startup sound, Jim Reeks actually says that ironically, the Beatles song, A Day in the Life, was his inspiration for the Sonic logo. Listen to the very last chord of the song and you can hear it. All right, number three in our Sonic branding list, you probably recognized right away, it's Disney. Or as they were branding themselves at the time, Walt Disney Pictures. The Walt Disney Company was formed in 1923. Most people think of their first visual logo appearing in 1937 with the release of their first feature length movie, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. But this was actually just the first appearance of the handwritten style logo that evolved over time. His Mickey Mouse cartoons was branded with his name and the word productions years prior. We see the word production change to pictures over time and eventually in 2011, we lose the words Walt and pictures altogether and are left with just the brand we have today, Disney. Along with visual updates came the theme music change to its current iconic sound logo we all know. Whether you like the sound of the latest version or the more nostalgic version I remember from the 90s, they are both adaptations of When You Wish Upon a Star from the 1940 classic Pinocchio. Sound number four, of course, belongs to THX. A 
company founded in 1983 by George Lucas. The in-your-face Sonic logo you hear is really a sort of sound system test. As THX develops the high fidelity audio visual reproduction standards for movie theaters, screening rooms, high-end subwoofers and speakers, etc. The sound is called the THX Deep Note. Now, some people think that this is one of the scariest sounds in the world with its very piercing timbre and its rising and falling notes that eventually hits that resolve, but I love it and I think it's one of the most iconic pieces of sonic branding out there. Last on our list, but certainly not least, is number five, Intel. The world's largest semiconductor chip manufacturer established in 1968. This is probably the most famous sound from any brand in the world. It was composed by Walter Wurzowa. I think that there's no doubt that his inspiration for this came from Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Beethoven moved some 50 times throughout his life. He had itchy feet and he was always looking for new inspiration, and he wrote his fifth while in Vienna, the same city Walter was born in. In fact, later, Walter, Intel, and a 90-piece orchestra went back to Vienna and recreated the Intel mashup with Beethoven's fifth. It's amazing. Okay, and as promised, one more bonus sound from a channel right here on YouTube. Now, whether these guys realize the power of sonic branding or not, They've been utilizing it well for their brand on the platform. First, let's listen to the audio only. Storer is an incredible group of guys who started their parkour YouTube channel back in 2010. I don't know of any other YouTube channel doing it like they are. Which makes me think, maybe I should start using a sound logo for my channel, Aaron the Filmmaker. Maybe a film reel sound or something. So these five were some of my favorite Sonic logos. What are your favorites? What ones did I miss? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.